it just feels so good to finally have my own car. <laughs> honk, honk. Trips that you plan for the next whole week. Dance too long for niggas so cheap and your flex so deep, sex so deep. You got it, girl, you got it. You got it, girl, you got it. Yeah. Pretty little thing, you got a bag and now you wildin'. You just took it off the line, no mileage. Way they hitting you, the DM looking violent. Talking while you come around and now they silent. Through the Cooper 17, no bodies. You be staying low, but you know what the prize is. Ain't never got you know it being modest. Popping shit, but only cause you know you popping. So like I said, it is a 2014 Chevy Malibu LS. I'm, I'm gonna kind of show y'all a little bit, but I'm not finna do like too much. Like, oh, here's... Here's how you roll the windows down. Here's this, cause what am I, a salesman? Like, I, I'm not a car salesman. You know, people be doing the car tours like that. But I'm gonna tell y'all like some features of the car and all that. But this is mine and it's really nice, y'all. It's really nice. Okay, so this is what everything looks like. It's really cute. I wish that this was a real screen, but that's okay honestly my biggest thing was i just needed something to get to where i need to get to so yeah this is my car i love her i love her okay so right now i don't have the engine on but um this car does have bluetooth but the bluetooth is just for calling which i think is so stupid like some of these cars that were older when they started making the bluetooth they didn't make it with the music it was just bluetooth for calling so that's why this is like for calling y'all get what i'm saying and it says that my aux is in because this doesn't have a usb port it just has wait, that's my mask in here but it just has a aux so i had bought this aux cord oh Okay, I bought this aux from Target. So the aux is in here and I have to use that, which, you know, it's really no big deal to me. The car is still very nice. And because it doesn't have a USB port, I had to buy a car charger thing. So it can either go in here or it can go right there. So I bought this, um, this car mount and it goes on your windshield i bought that because since since the radio isn't carplay sometimes i do need my gps when i'm at school in tennessee because i don't know my way around like how i do in michigan so this is great it turns to the side this is perfect so my phone literally would just sit up in that and i can see so yeah i think that that's i think that's really cool that was like um twelve dollars on amazon the aux cord i already had th this adapter right here i already had that that's from apple i don't know how much that was but i've had that for years and then the actual cord this was like 7.99 at target and then the charger that i have that i showed y'all that was about 4.99 at target Let's get into the real stuff. Let's get into the real stuff because people be making these car tour videos and everything. Or I bought a new car, but they don't get into what really goes behind getting a new car. I bought this car. I bought it. Journey. Journey Elise. I bought this car um, in cash. So I paid full out. I know that since I'm in school, I really did not want to... But I know since I'm in school, I really did not want to be paying a car note. So I didn't want to finance. I wanted to pay in cash. I believe that that's how you say it. But yeah. So let me get into the issues, y'all. Let me get into the issues because when you get a used car, like my dad kept telling me this. He kept telling me this from jump. But I was just like, I really wasn't trying to hear it because I knew that I just wanted a car. So I bought this car, y'all. I bought this car that same week i bought the car so about so about like four days later y'all my car stopped in the middle of the street it stopped it just up and stopped so what i'm explaining to y'all is this car has an auto stop feature and i'm gonna 
I'm gonna take a picture of it. I'm gonna insert it on the screen because I don't, I don't feel like moving my phone, but it has an auto stop feature that you see in a lot of newer cars where when you're on the brakes, depending on, for my car, it depends on how much pressure I put on the brakes for real, but if I'm on the brakes, it'll fall into auto stop, meaning the engine will kind of like cut off. I guess that's, it, it idles down. That's what you would say. Your engine idles down. And the issue that I had was my engine was idling down. And then when I would get off the brakes so I could press on the gas to go, it like the car just stuttered. Like it would be and just stop. Y'all, do y'all know I was so upset when that happened to me? Like, first of all, I was in the middle of the street. It was a side street though, so it wasn't that bad, but I was scared and I was with my sister, but it just sucked because you put thousands of dollars. Like I paid, I don't want to get into how much I paid, but I paid a lot of money. I paid a lot of money for this car and then for it to stop working the same week I got it. Like it has, I realized it has a major issue where I can't just drive this for real without the issue getting fixed. So with that being said understand that when you get a used car you're probably bound to have issues where you will have to put money into the car and not even just a used car a lot of cars like you will have to put money into your car so i was lucky enough to have my parents who loved me and you know they just wanted to make sure everything was good with me and my car and they paid for my repairs so yeah my parents they paid why does it look like my brightness went down but my parents actually paid for my car to get fixed and i got i literally just got my car back um yesterday yesterday i just got my car back yesterday morning um from it was i had to take it to an actual dealership not just a little auto repair i had to take it to a chevy dealership and it was a lot of money it was over a thousand dollars it was definitely over a thousand so i think it wasn't like it was in the high thousand it was in the low thousands but it was a thousand something so just know that if you are getting a car be prepared for those extra costs but i'm just being transparent with y'all um because i feel like people people kind of skate around stuff yeah I just really wanted to keep it as open and as transparent. Oh, but y'all, getting back into the thing, like, I am so happy I finally got a car. Like, when I tell y'all, this has been a long time coming. Do y'all's research. Big point, big pointer. Do y'all's research on a car before you buy a car. Um. So, I didn't know that with these chevy cruises or malibus like i didn't know that and not even just them but i didn't know that these cars were having issues with the auto stop situation like i had no clue and i did look up the car but i really had no clue so in that case i i didn't know that there was an issue with that so if i knew i probably wouldn't have bought this freaking car i actually don't even like that feature i hate the feature because i don't like how it feels but like it scares me but yeah I mean, I got it now, but definitely do your research before you buy a car. I really hope y'all like this video. I hope y'all, I really wanted it to be more of an informational type of video rather than just the glitz and glamour of buying a new car. It's so much more to buying a car than just a car looking cute. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, I, I really need it. I love the support that I'm already getting. And yeah i'm gonna keep on building up y'all okay i also meant to mention too y'all my car um when i bought it so my car does have eighty-two thousand miles on it already that is a lot of miles so you also have to think about mileage dang i'm trying to figure out where i want my phone you also have to think about mileage when you get your car um again y'all this is just oil on my face i'm not sweating it's just oil but you also have to think about mileage when you get your car. I was not trying to get a car that was over 100,000 miles. So understand that, like, if you're looking for a certain price range, um, think about it as people drive about, 
approximately like 10,000 miles a year. So if the car is 10 years old, it'll probably be about 100,000 miles on it. If the car has any more or any less, you can kind of like understand like either they was driving the car a lot or they was not driving the car a lot. So if they weren't driving the car a lot, why weren't they driving the car a lot? Was it an older person's car or not? I hope this is making sense to y'all. But yeah, my car does have 80,000 miles on it. So it was kind of driving it like a, yeah, a good amount. But um, yeah. Yeah, but my car does have that many miles on it. I really was trying to get lower than 80,000, but this car is a very good working car. I've already had it in the shop too. Besides the dealership, like it's still getting checked out. Dang, I'm so oily, y'all. Whew. Jesus, but y'all get the picture and yeah.